Hello traders, in today's video I'm going to talk about watch lists in the Thinkorswim platform. We're going to create a new watch list, we'll delete watch lists, we'll add and delete symbols to current watch lists, we'll sort watch lists alphabetically, we'll import symbols from a file into watch lists, and we're also going to link watch lists to charts. So if this content is helpful, I'd appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel. So I have one of my personal watch lists up here. I call it day. Now if I click up here and scroll down to personal, I have probably two dozen watch lists. And then you'll see these public watch lists that are already installed on the Thinkorswim platform. So let's just go down here to create watch list and we'll click that. And the first thing we're going to do is name this and I'm going to name this ABC. And now we'll just start adding symbols. Let's put in the spy diamonds and the IWM and once we have our symbols in we'll just click Save. So now we've got a new watch list and the symbols are sorted alphabetically. Now see this little arrow here in the symbol part of the watch list if I click that then they go they I guess they'd be uh, reverse alphabetical. If we click this again it brings them back into alphabetical order which is what I like. So let's say I want to I don't want to look at the IWM anymore if I click that press the delete button on the keyboard and then use an up or down arrow key IWM is gone but let's say I want to add it back in I just click a free row here type IWM back in press enter and it's back into the watch list. Let's say I want to get rid of this watch list altogether I just click up in here, I go down to delete, and I have this at the top, so I'm going to have to pause this for a second, I'm sorry. Let's just rename this watch list. So we'll go down to edit, and let's just name it Jeff's ABC. Okay, now we'll delete it out, so if I click here, go down to delete, there you see Jeff's ABC. So I just click that. I get a little warning. Am I sure I want to delete it? Actually, I don't. But if I do, I'd click yes. So we'll click no. What I want to do next, though, is I want to import symbols into a watch list. So what I'm going to do is click up here again. And we're going to go down, navigate down to import. We'll bring this into view. Now, I don't have these symbols pasted anywhere, copied anywhere but I do have them in a file. Now our other option, we can replace the symbols we have or we can add to the current symbols. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add the symbols from my file into the watch list we already have. So the next step is going to be select file, so we'll click that. And I have a folder on my desktop called watch list. And in it I've got some Excel spreadsheets. So I'm going to click on the YouTube one, and that's going to bring up the symbols that I have. And I'm just going to click OK, and these will add the current symbols, or these will add to my current symbols. Excuse me, click OK. And there we go. So now we have several more symbols in the watch list. So there's a couple of ways to scroll through a watch list. You can click with the mouse. But what I like to do is just use my arrow keys, my up and down arrow keys, so I can rapidly go through a watch list, and I can look at charts. Now, if you'll notice, as I change symbols in the watch list, the chart's changing as well, and that's because I have these linked. So, if I hover up here to this little red square of number one, that's a symbol link. If I click on that, I'm going to click unlink. So I've just unlinked the watch list. Now let's unlink the chart. So we'll do it the same way. We'll hover over here. It says symbol link. And we'll unlink. Now when I go back over to the watch list and navigate through, nothing's happening with the charts. So let's link these back up again. It's just it's very easy. We just click on the symbol link. And we can choose any of these colored flags, one through nine. I just happen to like the red. 
Now we'll want to link the same color over here. If we link a different color, it's not going to work. So we'll go ahead and link them up again. I'll click over here in the watch list. And as I scroll through, the charts are changing. I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the watch list video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jeff. Have a great day, everyone.